All right, welcome to the next video where I'm going to show you how you can use L Messenger Pro inside of your Facebook Messenger. Now, specifically, I'm going to show you how you can render your contacts. I'm going to show this to you in just a second so it makes more sense. I'm going to show you how you can assign tags to people add notes to people and then also sort your leads by tags or nodes so you can easily find a specific group of people that you want to reach. And then I'm also going to show you how you can send broadcast messages to a specific tag and also remove inactive friends. Now, this is a function that's currently still in development, but I'm still going to show you what it will do because this is going to be very, very cool. So let me just go into my messenger, um, into my Facebook. So obviously to be able to use L Messenger Pro, you need to be in your Chrome browser. Simply open up Facebook, go to the top right to your messenger Messenger right here, click on see all in messenger, and it's going to open your messenger. Now, most of the time, it's not going to open up the L Messenger Pro extension straight away. Now, nothing is broken. Don't worry about it. What you will need to do is simply click on the L Messenger Pro extension once, and now simply reload the page. Simply reload it, and it's going to start rendering all of your contacts. It's going to include the tags that you have already created and it's it might take a while but it's going to do that in just a second now and as you can see it has already loaded all the tags right here now it's important to understand if you don't see any tags right here it might be because you have not created a tag obviously and if you have already created a tag you need to make sure that you have a tag that is a default tag now for me the default tag is new so everybody who is showing up on my messenger contacts right here is going to get assigned with a tag new so in order to do that go into your messenger click on the tag that you have created for the new people and make sure it is default. If you do not have that checked, it's not going to show any tags inside of here. So just make sure that you have done that. Now, let me just click Save. All right, and this is where you can see all the tags. Now, in order to change the tag of a person, so let's just say I have a conversation with Bert and I get to know him a little bit better. I learn about him and his business and I might see that he might be a potential user for the software because I can see he is a coach and he wants to connect with more people, right? So now once I start talking with him, I might identify a need for the software. I might be able to ask him if he wants to check it out. And once I do that, I can simply change the tag that I have assigned to him. So I can click on this right here and I can simply choose the tag that I want to assign him to. Now I'm going to assign him to a potential user if that is the case. So as you can see, you can instantly change the tag of a person to make sure that he is in the right category of your sales cycle. Now, this is really, really cool. Now, if you want to add notes to a specific person, you might want to add a note of where he works, how long you've been into a business um, or whatever it might be, right? You can simply click on this little um, pencil icon right here or right here, and you can simply add a note to this person. Cool note about Bert. Simply click on save. And next time you're going to pull it up, you can simply click on this and it's going to show the note that you have right here. Now, what I would love to see for the software, which they're going to do as well, is that they is going to have the nodes somewhere around here as well. So you can instantly see the nodes um, very visible instead of having to click it on the icon. But this is something that we're going to talk about in one of the next few things. Now, Further than that, you can see that you have a little bit of a menu right here at the top left. You can click on that and it's going to pull up a couple of different things. Now, the first thing is you can simply filter by tag, right? This basically means that you're going to choose a tag that you want to filter your messenger um, contacts as. So right here, you can see all the tags I've created. And now let's say I want to um, filter it by all the people that have the tag follow up. You can simply click on the tag and now it's going to render the contacts and it's going to filter them by the tags. So what it now basically does, it's going through all the contacts that have a tag applied and it's going to find the people with the tag follow up. It's going to pull them up and then you have them neatly organized inside of your messenger. Now, let me just wait a couple of seconds until it is done. And you can already probably see the power of this, right? Because now you don't need to go into your messenger inbox and simply scroll through all the conversations that you had with people. But now you have it all neatly organized inside of your messenger. As you can see, it has pulled up all the people that have the tag 
follow up. You can simply click on uh, stop filter if you know that this is all there is. And now you can see they are all at the top. This is like really, really cool, right? Because now I can simply go into and message all the people that I want to follow up with. As you can see, it's still rendering because it's still searching a couple of people. Let me just pull that up right here. All right. So now one of the next few things that you can do is you can send broadcast messages to a specific tag, right? Now you have pulled it up. What you can do, obviously, you can go into um, each and every one that has a tag follow up, right? But let's say you have 50 people that have the tag follow up. Now, what you can do is simply click on menu again and then click on broadcast. And with broadcast, you can simply auto send messages to a specific tag. So now we can say, send it, uh, you can choose the tag, right? And then you can choose the template that you want to send to this person to and simply click on interval on how long it's going to take between each message sent. Now, I do recommend if you're starting off with the software, obviously to go with the highest interval that there is, you can create custom intervals if you want to. It's just going to make sure that, you know, Facebook doesn't flag you or just doesn't seem you as a bot. Basically, the software currently is designed to mimic um, personal behavior. Right. So however you would personally behave on Messenger, this is what the software is going to do as well. So, so simply you know, be on the uh, safe side, choose 15 to 20 seconds, and then you can simply choose the, uh, the template that you want to have and then simply start sent. And it's going to automatically send the template that you have already created right here for this tag. So let's say we have the tag follow up. Right. We can go into that. We can create a template. We can create a broadcast. We're going to do that just quickly together. Hey, name, how has your week been so far, right? And we're gonna click on save. And now what it's going to do, now what we can do basically, right? We can go into broadcast, probably going to need to um, refresh this again. Oh no, we don't even need to refresh. So we could choose the tag, we can choose the template saying, hey name, how has your week been so far? We can choose the interval, simply click start sent, and it's going to send out this message to these people that have the tag follow up. Um, and we can just, you know, sit back, relax and do whatever we want. You can also send a broadcast based on nodes that you have created. Now this, you know, sometimes doesn't make any sense. Um, but for example, if you have a note that you have a hashtag in, you know, for whatever reason, um, you can do that and simply hashtag follow up, you know, if, if that's something that you want to do, you can do that. You can choose between any template they have already created and you can do the same, simply start send and you are good to go. Now we can also obviously filter your contacts by notes, um, simply, you know, a note that you have inside of here. I have not um, done a few notes, so I cannot show this to you quickly, but you can also filter by messages and you can filter by messages that you have responded to and also filter by messages that you have not responded to, right? Because sometimes people have sent you a message, you have read the message, but for whatever reason, you have not responded to this message. And then it's obviously getting lost because it's not being shown as an unread message. And this is where you can filter the messages by not responded, okay? So this is really cool as well. And then you also can create campaigns. Now campaigns is a little bit of a specific thing. If you have a campaign going on, a sequence of messages that you want to send people to, um, you can do that within the campaigns. And the last function that you have is remove friends. Now remove friends is where you choose a tag and based on the tag that you have given people, they're going to get removed. You can also obviously choose the interval. Now you might be saying, but this doesn't make any sense. No, it does not yet. But what the plan is, is that we will be able to tag people based on their activity with us. So we can say, if he does not answer any of our messages for the past week or two, it's going to get tagged as a person that is inactive. We can tag people if they have not, um, engage with our content and we can automatically tag these people as inactive and then we can choose the tag inactive simply click on start remove and it's going to start removing all these people now obviously there are going to be more functions in the future as well but this is just so you get an idea of how this will be able to work 
So yeah, that's it for today's video on how to use L Messenger Pro inside of your Messenger. If you have any questions or something is not working the way it should, simply click on this icon, go to chat support at the bottom left right here, and the support will be able to help you out. I hope you can see the value of the software and how amazing and how much of a time saver it's going to be for you and your business. And I'm super excited for you to get started using this and really making the most out of your messenger. So with that said, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.